Okay, so same part. I've got it in a lot better orientation though. Um, in this one I've only got one setup. And so here's my setup and it's stock top. So it's right down inside of there or it's right on top of, of my stock and so um, it doesn't matter if I pick up X0, Y0 on the diameter or anything there, it's still in the middle of that and it's on the top of my stock. So um, go in there and, and I can kind of look at what we got and need to change a couple things out. I got a fixed size box. It is two by two and let's change the viewing of that. All right. This one really does not have a ton of stock based upon the material that we have. <coughs> And again, we can change you know, where we want to put that at. If we want to put it on the bottom, we can definitely do that. So let's leave it there for this guy, I think. So X0, Y0, Z0 is on the bottom of the part. So we're going to mill the soft jaws for this diameter. Plan on putting this part in there, and uh, as you can see, I've already been playing with this a little bit, and so it uh, it nullified all of my um, contouring from before. So we'll go back and and redo all of that. So we can just go to generate. Okay. So I'm typically not usually a um, fusion fan. I've, I've, I'm getting to like it better, I think, uh, but I'm still pretty new with it. So let's just run this thing through, see what it looks like. And so on this one, we're doing everything, well, not everything, but we're doing first two operations with just a half inch end mill. I wouldn't say it's really what I would call optimized, but it is going to be convenient for what it is that we're, we're playing with today. So on this one we are at depth and let's go ahead and show our stock. So what we've got is a little bit of uh, mismatch from tooling. So our adaptive left stock and when it did that it's going to leave a, a little tray or um, a little trough through here. This tan area is to size, this blue area is not. So let's go back and play with our adaptive just a little bit. Okay. So I removed stock to leave on that. In in probably a perfect world I would be able to just kind of pick and choose where I wanted to leave some stock on. Um, I think I'll leave it alone for right now. And I really will go ahead and run the whole thing over again.
So now when we look at it, actually don't have a difference in height. We've got two different colors there, but we don't have a variation in height. There's probably a better way to do that in a finish pass. Um, as of right now, that I'm still kind of trying to get the hang of fusion. Um, I think that's probably how I would do it. I might do a little bit of playing around with it on the machine. Um, but if possible, I would try not to do much moving around. Okay, so I'm going to close that out and I want to look at offsetting on this tool. So we go to passes. All of these things flow right along with Inventor. So um, I've left tolerance alone. I've done compensation and control and pretty much left everything okay from there on out. Uh, that's just a finished pass around the outside and Let's see what this thing looks like. process and on this one so I didn't have anything set up here so go to Haas pre next gen just take a look at what it looks like for the default So tool then M6, it's got a standby tool in there. Let's go to the top, I want to look at the, I'm going to see about G41. Okay, so it has a G41 on tool one. Finishing on the outside. Okay, so that worked out okay. Um, something I want to look at real quickly as we're here. Go back to post process, open configuration. Definitely don't want to preload the tool. I also want to see, go up to the top, and I want to find the right button, M6. I kind of would like to change around how I do my tool changes and I'm not sure that I know that sequence in Fusion yet. I'm sure it's the same as Inventor. And I may have to look around just a little bit and post an update for that. Um, it's just a matter of getting the two things flipped around because I think I like it better when it says the tool change M6 first. Let's see 
if I can find it into a byte search into a number. Okay. So here's insert tool call. That's where I need to do some changing. So no preload a tool. So first tool number. And then we'll have to change that around. So I'm going to need to go back and do a little bit of work on that. Um, I know I've done it before with some other ones. So it, this says write block T plus tool format. So I might be able to flip these two around. I'm going to do like this. Um, format and then plus T. Let's see what that looks like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight this line and See if this will change it. Call this Hosmod. Okay, so I'll make sure I know where that's at. Is in user and J or J four. Now, let's see if I can find it. with something. Alright. So it's not in there, but we've got to find out where it's at. It's you need to be able to pull it from this PC. Nope. Okay. 
play around with that one a little bit more later. So here we've got our still has our tool change with M6 and we'll get that flipped around. Um, H4, T1. So we still have this standby tool. So we're going to play around a little bit more with um, outputting on it and some of our uh, strategies for those things. So we'll have to change around some directory um, where we're storing our new posts at. It's harder since we don't have full access to everything on these computers. Okay, so all in all, I think it's just as easy to do this one um, in Fusion 360 or in Inventor. I don't think it really matters too much on which one that you use or um, do your drawing or do your machining in. So um, feel free to play around with both of them. Um, in this one I just used tool four two times and then switched to a quarter inch because my corner radiuses in here are pretty tight. Um, they're actually 175 thousandths in those corners so you're going to have to go in there pretty tight to get in there. Um, that's the quarter inch end mill. And that one you can do is carbide. The other two can be um, just regular high speed still in mills. Okay, so um, have those three parts finished, both five, six, and seven, and then we will see you again on Tuesday.